सिंहासन हिल उठे सिंहासन हिल उठे सिंहासन हिल उठे राजवंशों ने भ्रकटि तानी थी भूड़े भारत में आई फिर से नई जवानी थी चमक उठी थी सन सत्तावन में वो तलवार पुरानी थी बुंदे लो हर बोलों के मुंह हमने सुनी कहानी थी खूब लड़ी मर्दानी वो तो झांसी वाली रानी थी एप्लॉज यू लाइक डेट डिड यू बट आई जस्ट गेव अट ऑफ हिस्ट्री and wherever i have been in this country whenever i have interacted with students they are eager to vote history out as the most boring subject right history so is history the most boring subject or have we made it boring what is history so i asked my friend google he said bhaiya history is the study of past events particularly in human affairs and i was like ah uh, okay 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 history is the whole series of past events connected with a particular person or thing see that a person a thing not me it's not my story we have made history to his story but friends that's the problem history is no longer my story history is his story we are not teaching history we are teaching interpretations am i right we all know about 3 hours of education reading writing arithmetic let me give you the 3 hours of teaching history it's relevance reasoning and rhythm and the only problem is that we have replaced these 3 hours with 3 new hours let's visit them one by one relevance is history relevant it is but how do we teach it when we start class 6 they start reading history the first chapter they encounter is indus valley civilization what is indus valley civilization ma'am uh, this is where we started this is our past this is our beginning this is the main pillar from where we because of which we exist okay where is ma'am indus valley civilization it's in indus valley pakistan but that's not india no no it was india it is not india so what have you know you get so much into those questions it's no longer relevant why can't we start with um say demonetization Muhammad bin Tughlaq did demonetization. Lal Bahadur Shastri did demonetization. Can we study that pattern and the demonetization that happened today? Can we study what was the good and bad thing about these? Can we make history relevant? I started with a small snippet of history of Rani Lakshmi Bai. Do you know today is her birthday? Mani Kanika Tambe was born in Varanasi today, and she grew to become Rani Lakshmi Bai. queen of jhansi what we have done with a rel this relevance is we have replaced it with rumors how we done that mohammed bin tughlaq took some decisions due to which recession came and there was a similar recession in 2009 when we studied both we found out that the pattern was very similar now if i study that pattern and plot a graph i can predict the next recession even better i can prevent it but what we what we have done is we have added rumors no that happened because of this and this and this reason it was because he did that also he did this also different stories come up together we don't follow the we, we don't get into evidence we don't ask questions we don't do reasoning that takes me to my next r which is reasoning why we don't reasoning we are indians Obedient Indians, Agya Kari Bacha, Papa said, "Better do this." Okay, Papa. Mummy said, "Better do this." Okay, Mummy. Cat crosses. You are not supposed to cross that street. Okay. Don't sweep the house in the evening. Okay. Don't cut the nail in the night. Okay. Why? Have you ever ever asked questions? Why? There is a scientific reason behind everything. Aditi explained very nicely today about TB periods. Women were not allowed to enter the temple during their menstrual cycles. why ever wonder anybody has answer to this have you ever realized that all the ancient temples were outside the village not inside the village temples were never meant to be inside temples were not the place of worship temples were the instrument to explain you how to attain nirvana you have to elevate yourself you have to bring all your senses in first fold your hands put pressure you know the all that acupressure concept put put pressure 
all your senses activate the first sense is listening so ring the bell walk towards the garbhagriha second is vision you see the deity third is smell there is incense stick or some diya or something then you touch which is sparsh then you take prasad the the taste so all the five senses are covered in that and they were always outside the village which means you have to walk half a mile or something to reach there and it could be a sunny day so if there is a, and it is a long process you go there you carry your food along you sit there it's a 2 to 3 hour journey if a person who is already suffering who is not you know in in best of her health she is walking that length that might be problematic for her so initially it was more like an exemption and eventually it became a taboo why because we stopped reasoning we stopped asking questions stopped asking why we are doing this we turned reasoning to rattification you know this word everybody understands see we have made an art out of this it's not even a word and we know it just memorize it cramming that's it i am saying remember this that's it don't ask why we have taken everything out why do we have to ratify everything why do we have to remember everything because there was always a pattern which we have removed from our history what have we done with what was that pattern that pattern was rhythm that pattern was symphony i am sure everybody sitting in this hall is aware that our vedas were orally transmitted for centuries they were not written you are aware of this how did they remember family which was able to remember one ved were vedis two ved dvivedi trivedi chaturvedi names come like this have we even tried to delve deeper into our own past do we even know the meaning of our own name i mean come on we are in india our parents thinks for think for months and months before keeping our name deciding name and they are like it should be like this or this or this let's compare with this and it always has a meaning and i went to my dad how did this thing came in i went to my dad and asked what does my name means he was like i was fascinated by the way king vikramaditya ruled so i named you vikramjit vikramaditya is also known as vikramjit and there are three vikramadityas when i went deeper into it the guy who was from ujjain uh, from this vidisha that vikramaditya was the famous guy and i have been named after him that guy excelled in uh, metallurgy so he developed something and one of the samples of that metal is in delhi as iron pillar and from that metal damascus steel was developed which is considered the damascus blade is considered to be the sharpest and the best blade in the world everything is connected how many of you are from delhi i'll give you many very nice snippet about delhi in delhi there was this guy known as varha mihir he used to sit there and he wrote a book known as panch siddhant the five principles the first principle he wrote was surya siddhant where he said that if you measure height of a tall tower and you measure the shadow at a particular time you calculate the tangent you can from there you can calculate circumference and diameter of earth this person in this book also gave the properties of zero so while aryabhatta uh, you know invented zero or whatever term you want to use this person actually sat and told when you multiply zero with something it becomes zero you add zero to something nothing changes he did it in delhi mihrapuri was the place where he did that place is now known as mehrauli that observatory is no longer there but the kutub complex stands near that observatory we can teach maths we can teach science we can teach everything through history but what we have done is we have taken the rhythm out if you try to connect all the singers from india and pakistan there is one common denominator that you will find there is one song which every singer has sung can you guess the madam mast kalandar almost every singer has sung it this song so whenever i conduct workshops i conduct workshops of history through poetry and theater so whenever i do this this is the first song that i pick is the history of hazrat jhule lal who was from sevan or siwani which is in sindh now in pakistan 
सिंधड़ी दा सेवानी दा सखी शाहबाज कलंदर दमादम मस्त कलंदर चार चिराग तेरे बलन हमेशा पंजवा में बालन आईया बला झूले लालन व्हिच इज दैट पंजवा चिराग दैट द लैंप व्हिच आर द फोर लैंप्स दैट आर ओनली बर्निंग देयर मामा नु पीरा बछड़े तू देवे भैणा नु देना है वीर मिला झूले लालन देयर इज अ स्टोरी बिहाइंड एवरी लाइन देयर इज अनदर गाय नोन एज अब्दुल्ला राय भट्टी एंड ही वाज मोर लाइक अ रॉबिन हुड ऑपरेटिंग बिटवीन द लैंड्स ऑफ लाहौर एंड अमृतसर ही वुड attack rich people loot money from them give it to poor and the best thing he did was marry all the uh, poor girls so he would go he would give, give dowry to them and he would arrange for their marriage so whenever in north india this uh, people celebrated winter solstice the, cel- the festival of lodi you must have heard of it they used to commemorate him and the song of lodi is actually song of abdullah rai bhatti or as we call him dullah bhatti you have heard this song sundar mundariye ho tera kaun vichara ho dulla patti wala ho dulle ne thi ve aiso dulla patti is the person who would take care of sundar and mundri and he would come and help them marry get them married he would even give the dowry he would arrange for everything we don't have to worry the entire village is against but dulla patti will manage it whichever city you come from just go back and think your festivals all the folk songs that were sung on that festival every folk song contains the history of either that festival or the region in which that festival is celebrated we always had rhythm in telling history there is this one very amazing festival festival of holi celebrated by almost everyone in india hazrat baba bulle shah one of my favorite poets he once said hori kherun khelungi keh bismillah boond padi hai allah allah it was fine then but now what has happened now even that festival we have replaced rhythm with religion now that song cannot be sung because we have painted our history in green and saffron am i right 1817 james mill pick up class 8 textbook and this is what we are teaching the cbse textbook class 8 it's mentioned over there james mill in 1817 wrote a book the history of british india and he produced three volumes history teachers would know this he divided history of india into three parts part 1 hindu history part 2 muslim history part 3 british history we are doing the same even today though we have divided it into ancient medieval and modern but it is the same pattern we were never different we were never divided we were all one <laughs> we have changed so much so many hours let's change one h let's replace history with heritage there is a thin line between history and heritage history is what is written in books packed up in libraries i don't even want to talk about that when did akbar invade who did he kill i don't care he died fine he had 100 wives why do i care i can't handle even my one wife <laughs> not that easy i've understood the only thing i want to learn from him is how was he handling whatever number he had Shah Jahan had a harem of thousand women, highly talked about. But do you know that harem actually had thousand women and not thousand wives? He had daughters there, he had servants there, all kind of people in that area. It is a separate institution altogether. Heritage is what we are living with right now. To find heritage, you don't have to pick a history book. Everything is heritage. My spectacles are heritage. When we found out that I, our eyes are weak, we developed a lens which was held in front of our eye. Then we developed two. Then we went. Then we said, "Okay, God has given us ears. Let's go hands-free." We developed contact lens. We developed LASIK surgery. This is evolution. You study this. You predict the next thing. History, take it out. Bring heritage in. study the legacy study the evolution compare it with the present and you will be able to predict the future i still have a uh, few seconds left what i'll do is can you take the next slide that's a thank you slide but i want to share one small thing okay um so i said that i i teach history through poetry through theater i have a poem Uh, which is the history of delhi i'll not tell the entire poem here we can do it because it does, it, then it, uh, that poem in itself is a um, 7 uh, 8 minutes poem i would give a small snippet just two three stanzas uh, it is about the history of delhi where pandavas come in and then tomars were ruling for almost 400 years and then uh, 
Mohammed Ghori comes in, uh, Qutbuddin Abak comes in, and later, 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 British come in. So it, this is how it goes. Aao kisa tumhe sunao ik abad virane ka, rajaon aur sultanon ke ik sapne suhane ka. Sapne mein farishte rehte hain, par khun ke dariya behte hain. Yahan aashik bhi hain, yodha bhi. Is shahar ko Delhi kehte hain. Hai Sufi sant fakiron ki, ye dharti guruon piron ki, shairon aur amiron ki, Delhi rahi hai viron ki. यमुना जी के तट पर जब पहुंचे थे पांडु पुत्र वो तो खांडव प्रस्त के जंगल में इंद्रपुरी बनाई थी जहां बैठ के शासन करते थे और न्याय के डंके बजते थे वैभव विलास और माया की जहां रोशनी बस छाई थी खो गया वो शहर इंद्रप्रस्थ खो गया वो शहर इंद्रप्रस्थ धरती की गोद में सो रहा अब खून से लथपथ अरावली भी कुरुक्षेत्र तक रो रहा कि महाभारत के युद्ध ने तो अब काया ही पलट दी है दूध सी श्वेत यमुना भी लाल रंग में रंग दी है हजारों बरस भी गुजर गए और शहर पांडु के उजड़ गए तो राजपूत एक बड़ा हुआ दिल्ली में आकर खड़ा हुआ मिहिर भोज का पुत्र था और तोमर वंश का सूत्र था अनंग पाल था नाम रखा और ढिल्ली का में आरुका सूरज कुंड बनाया था और अनंग ताज बुदवाया था फिर लाल कोट की दीवारों में मेहरौली बसाया था लौह स्तंभ जो पुरखों का था लेकर दिल्ली आए थे और मंदिरों के प्रांगण में नए ध्वज झुलाए थे उन्नीस वंशज तोमर भय चार वर्ष तक राज किया फिर एक बलवान योद्धा को अजमेर से दिल्ली बुला लिया एक शूरवीर महान था राजपूतों की शान था इस भारत का अभिमान था वो पृथ्वीराज चौहान था पृथ्वीराज ने दिल्ली आकर काया ही पलट दी थी मेहरौली की दीवारों में नई ताकत ही भर दी थी जोड़ के पत्थर पत्थर उसने लाल कोट को बड़ा किया फिर राय पिथौरा किला बना के ध्वज अपना जो फहरा दिया कि चर्चा दिल्ली का बुजुर्ग खरासान तक होने लगा तो पर्शिया चर्चा दिल्ली का बुजुर्ग खरासान तक होने लगा तो घोर मोहम्मद दिल्ली का सपना दिल में पिरोने लगा और सपना पूरा करने को वो चलकर दिल्ली आया था वार पे वार पे वार किए तो पृथ्वी को हराया था मैंने हिस्टोरियन स्टाइल की तीन तराई में युद्ध हुए थे वार पे वार पे वार किए तो पृथ्वी को हराया था युद्ध समाप्त हुआ युग समाप्त हुआ वक्त बदला तारीख बदली वक्त बदला तारीख बदली हिंदुस्तान की तकदीर बदली बदला केसरी निशान भारत का बदल के परचम सब्ज हुआ सब्ज मैंने हरा कि बदला केसरी निशान भारत का बदल के परचम सब्ज हुआ और मजहब फारस की गलियों से हिंदुस्तान की नब्ज हुआ गुलाम कभी जो थे शाहों के हिंद के सुल्तान हुए इमारत तामीर हुई रेगिस्तान बोस्ता हुए बोस्ता इस गार्डन कहीं मस्जिद कहीं मेहराब कहीं कसर कहीं किले यूं बाहें पसार मामलूक हिंद को मिले मस्जिद जामी और मीनारे कुतुब तख्त मेहरौली बाब ताजुब कुतुब उल तमश रजी और बैराम नौ दशक तक किया हिंद ने सलाम एंड गोज ऑन खिलजिस कम तुगलक्स कम लोधीस कम मुगल्स कम आई जम्प ऑन टू द ब्रिटिश आई एंड दिस विद ब्रिटिश वेन मुगल्स कम कि अब मुगल भारत आ गए और नए बाबर चा गए दीन पन्हा फिर आगरा शाहजहानाबाद बना गए शेरों खुर्शीद जो मुगलिया पर चमकुल हिंद पे लहराता था पंजाब सिंध गुजरात मराठा सब मुगलिया कहलाता था धीरे धीरे शराब मुगलिया रगो में बहने लगी बगावतों का दौर बुलंद हुआ मायूसी किले में रहने लगी इस बीच एक सौदागर आया ध्यान दीजिएगा पहचान तो आप गए हैं इस बीच एक सौदागर आया मौत का साजो सामान लाया और दो बिल्लियों की लड़ाई में बंदरों ने यू मुनाफा कमाया इस बीच एक सौदागर आया मौत का साजो सामान लाया दो बिल्लियों की लड़ाई में बंदरों ने यू मुनाफा कमाया कि काला दिल था गोरी चमड़ी साहेब बहादुर जेब में दमड़ी एक एक कर सभी के नवाब नहीं पैसे का कोई जवाब एक एक कर सभी के नवाब नहीं पैसे का कोई जवाब और जो ना बिके बिकाऊ बिखारी उनकी नस्लें चुन चुन मारी ऐसा कहर ढाया गोरों ने गुलाम किए सब बारी बारी सन सत्तावन हुई पुकार चारों तरफ थी हाहाकार हिंदी फौजी फो, हिंदी फौजी पकड़ बंदू के गोरों का कर रहे संघार पर नतीजा क्या हुआ जकड़ा जफर भेजा रंगून दिल्ली कर दी खूनों खून बंदूक का शासन देख लो अपना दिन को चैन न रात सकून यूनियन जैक को करो सलाम जॉर्ज आएंगे तेरे काम बंगाल से दिल्ली आएंगे नया शहर बसाएंगे पानी पाइप का आएगा और हर्फ टाइप हो जाएगा जिन्होंने ये वो शेर सुना है कि पानी पीना पड़ा है पाइप का हर पढ़ना पड़ा है टाइप का पेट दुखता है आंख आई है शाह एडवर्ड की दुहाई है लॉन्ग हिस्ट्री बिहाइंड दिस विल टॉक अबाउट इट समाइम एल्स लेकिन पानी पाइप का आएगा और हर टाइप हो जाएगा अब पेट दुखे या आंख आए तुझको कौन बचाएगा दिल्ली तू वीरानी है 
सपने सी तेरी कहानी है आंख से बहता खून तेरे रगों में बहता पानी है तीन हजार साल के इतिहास में तूने हर राहगीर को अपनाया सबने तुझे लूटा सबने सताया पर दिल्ली सलाम है कि तू आज भी आबाद है और चैनो अमन से तेरे बाशिंदे रहे मेरी यही फरियाद है थैंक यू